So even if you're poor, you're not going to migrate if there's no real opportunities. So this idea that people just keep on coming without there being any opportunities is actually ignoring evidence to the contrary. Well, first of all, we know that the biggest determinants of immigration is simply the business cycle. So labor demand drives a lot of migration. A lot of family migration is the consequence ultimately of labor migrants coming in and later have their families join them or actually at the same time as to move in as well. So, and we see a very close relation, a very close correlation between business cycles and numbers of migrants coming in. So that also shows that just saying, you know, income divides drive migration isn't a sufficient explanation. For instance, after the economic crisis in 2007 and 2008, migration to Spain plummeted, but also migration from Mexico to the US. The main reason for that wasn't border politics. It was because there were no longer any opportunities. So even if you're poor, you're not going to migrate if there's no real opportunities. So this idea that people just keep on coming without there being any opportunities is actually ignoring evidence to the contrary that migration is largely following economic trends. It's different for refugee migration, but that is of course a much smaller source of migration uh, than uh, labor and family migration. There's a lot of research on, on the so-called welfare magnet, particularly by economists trying to establish a link between the level of welfare provisions and the levels of migration to countries. Actually, that research finds very weak effects or no effects at all. So there's no strong evidence that it's particularly welfare states that attract more migrants. And actually, if you look at the real world around you, a country like the UK has relatively weak welfare systems com compared to many Northwestern European countries on the continent, or take the United States, which is still the prime magnet of many migrants in the world with quite weak welfare systems. Of course, welfare provision may play a certain role in particular individual decisions to migrate, but the idea this is the big driver of migration is flawed. Mm -hmm.